hi guys welcome back to the channel i am nisha for those who are tuning in for the first time hey <laughs> and of course for those who have been here you already know what's up what to do baby booze welcome welcome back to the channel today you guys i i don't know i just i'm having one of those kind of content filming days and it's just driving me bananas so um i filmed earlier today and usually i don't film twice a day not no more i used to but since these kids been home i get one filming session in, and i get try to get like multiple videos in within that one session especially when it comes to tiktok yeah so <laughs> i already filmed my content earlier today when i was on my way to work and i got an email that i was supposed to do a content video that i totally forgot about so i was like We're going to do an unboxing for Lorella. Yeah, it's, it's about time, okay? I almost forgot. We got one more box to do, and that is going to be my ice cream box. And it's it's been here. I'm, I'm ready to unbox it and see what I can play with. I always get confused on how to open this. Y'all know the routine about this. I have more information about this box if you guys are interested in checking it out. Want to subscribe to it yourself. It will be linked down at the bottom with other information um i do i think i'm signed up to yeah i'm signed up to a month to month so it automatically renews my subscription every single month unless i wish to cancel then i will do so but i started this subscription beginning of this year and so far i've loved everything that i got except for march i feel like march was definitely like my least favorite box i've got <laughs> and i was like look here and I feel like everyone felt the same way because after that we have not seen any more theme palettes. Y'all please just tell me why my kids loud. Why? Why why this allowed? And then I got a new hair unit and, and I picked the wrong day to do new hair. It usually takes me like a good three days to adjust when I wear a new wig. I've had this style before, but depending on what wig maker style number I get. I either like it or I don't. It's like one of those situations. So, anywho, I could have sworn I opened this box. What's what's going on? I didn't even get no sneak peek. I I've been not checking Luella's um, Instagram because I don't like. I'm a type of girl. I like to be surprised. Like, don't show me what I'm gonna get. Why am I having a hard time opening up this box? Give me a second, y'all. Let me step off this camera real quick. Okay, so I finally figured it out. <laughs> I don't know how they be taping it. It says, this is not makeup. They are essentials. Okay. Uh, this is my first time seeing this. I don't know if people are complaining about the box, but okay. They bubble print. I love the packaging. I feel like it's it came really nicely bubbled today. Ooh. I see something that I was kind of eyeing that I was going to eventually get. If this is what I think it is, I'm so happy I waited. Okay, so the first thing I got, obviously they put the palette right on top. This looks like a record player. Wow, on the edge is the name of this eyeshadow palette. And y'all know Lorella has a really good uh, eyeshadow quality for a really affordable price. That's why I really like the subscription because like it's it's for the low low. <laughs> it's for the low low lows. I don't know why this packaging kind of reminded me of the KISS package from 
um, glam white, like the punk rock style of 90s era. Like, that's what it's giving me. And it says volume two. I don't remember what volume one was that I read. Ooh, this is cute. So this is kind of giving me the vibes of who just came out with a palette that kind of looks like this. I was going to say cosmic brushes, but I feel like they had a little bit more purples and blues going on. But overall, I do really, really like this palette. It has the perfect amount of shade of neutrals and mattes. I feel like this palette is giving me dupe vibes for something else. If y'all can think of what this may be duping, let me know. Is it a Blend Bunny palette? Like, it looks familiar. Like, I don't know. It might just be the way it's laid out, but I feel like it looks familiar. But I ain't disappointed at all. Like, I like the blue tones of grays in here. And then the neutrals. Like I said, this is a really 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 cute palette wow okay ah! right off the box we are super excited okay so this is what i've seen i was like what is this so they had a whole collection that came out with this one if i'll be honest just looking in here i think they just threw this in here because maybe this collection did not sell i don't know i could be totally wrong but i wanted to get the palette i was hoping that one of the the actual palette for this collection was going to be one of the palettes for the monthly subscription but it never came about and this came out i want to say back in february was this collaboration oh i guess not i'm still debating if i want to get the palette but they gave us the peanut lip kit i don't know i just feel like being that i know they already had this it's kind of like awkward that they included this in here it's like a little bit of leftover is what i'm getting i don't know i could be totally wrong but that's what i'm feeling right now but here is what this looks like. And then I think this is a lipstick or a lip gloss. What is the actual quality? So it looks like it's like a lip gloss. Yeah, it's like a nice sheer lip gloss. And then I know this lip pencil is not going to be my complexion. I wish brands would stop doing this. Let me see. Yeah, it's it's the same. You can't even see. It's the same shade as me. Um, so I can probably do like a deeper lip liner and then use this for an actual lipstick. And then maybe pop this as a gloss. That would be a way of making this work without letting it go to waste. I, don't know, I just feel like there are other boxes there was a theme even when it wasn't a theme like I feel like this and this don't go like does that make sense like this is very bright and colorful and then this is like dark I don't know I might be over analyzing this box but I've seen better from them okay and then really okay and then the rest of the stuff is going to be in here Again, I did not get a slip. I don't know why they're not slipping the slips in here lately, but there's no card unless it's inside this bag. Oh, I do like this little pouch though. This is like really, really cute. I like this. I'm gonna guess. Let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. I'm having a feeling it's gonna be some makeup brushes in here maybe some sort of light equipment mm, face puff like makeup puff first I don't know and maybe lashes okay so first off we have the headband so this is really cute these are like the very popular headbands you use for when you're washing your hair or maybe when I need to do my makeup maybe I need to start wearing these because I be getting like makeup in my wigs and it just like really bothers me so I may need to give these a go and try that out so yeah now I have a green one they gave me a pink one back in February I think oh I was right we have makeup brushes of course and let me see these are kind of giving off the vibes just by looking at them and i might be right they give it off the vibes of the morphe brushes 
I'm excited to try these. I can never go wrong with brushes, especially eyeshadow brushes. Yeah, so they gave me a total of five different brushes. So I have an eyeshadow one. There is like a big fluffy crease one. Another creased little brush. This looks like it might be more of a face, like a highlighter one. And then another eyeshadow brush. Okay. <laughs> what did i say two right so far this is the glow up compact mirror i told i tell you guys they always sitting some light gadget every single one i don't know if they got some kind of system with i don't know but i ain't gonna knock it because one that they did send this is the one i actually use is this one so i can't knock it and then I like that the other one that they sent, it just, it takes forever to charge. So I'm hoping this is not a chargeable one, maybe like a battery active one. I don't know, but I'm going to pop this in my purse if this is what she's supposed to do. Oh, and then the last thing, really? Really? I have another face mask and I got this one before already. This is Mango. Okay, yes, I'm going to be all the way 100. Y'all yeah, know I'm always honest. Um, as for every individual thing that I got in my box, do I like it? Yes. Um, but going off of the pattern that I've seen uh, Lorella, Lorella come out with, like it's a theme for every month. So seeing this, I literally feel like they just gather stuff that was in the warehouse and threw it in this box and said hey this is going to be july's box take it or leave it <laughs> i love the palette like i feel like i really feel like they should have played off of that palette maybe gave us more like black theme related stuff maybe it's like i said the makeup brushes were perfect with the palette like maybe had a cute little black headband maybe maybe to go with the theme a black brownish something in a neutral because it's a bright it's not really going with the palette and then maybe, like I said, maybe they would have been cute. They would have added some of these in here, but black. That would have been really cute. Maybe a set of lashes, but the packaging is black. You get what I'm saying? And then the gloss, I love the gloss combo, like the duo shades of it. But having that bright peanut collection going with the palette and then the black bat, I just feel like it wasn't themed correctly for this month. And that's my best way of critiquing it as a whole but individually i do like all the things that i got i kind of feel like i really didn't get that much this month i don't know maybe i'm used to the random things that they sent out but <clears throat> i feel like i'm missing like one more one or two more randoms <laughs> in my box and i'm just not quite sure so let me know if you guys got this subscription box let me know if your box was the same as mine like now i'm curious now i actually want to look on the instagram and see what people were saying because i hope it's all good over there lorella like what happened like <clears throat> let's see what's going on oh they're not even posted their own the only thing they posted from this thing was the actual pouch the makeup bag and the palette and i see lashes but i know they have a lash description as well let me show y'all what i mean by this like like You'll see like it's theme. Like for Valentine, you see it was Valentine. And then it went to the same patch. Like it was theme. Even like their whole Instagram was theme. And then the neutral vibes. That was my favorite palette. It's still my favorite palette from them. And then the peanut collection. This is where it confused me because I thought this was gonna be like one of the subscription stuff, but it wasn't. It was an individual thing. And this came out back in March. So then it went into this retro collection. Again, full on theme. When I got that bag, everything was pink. It was themed and then after that it was like the cowgirls that was kind of sort of still themed as well a lot of pink essentials and cute little pink girly things it was a theme and then for them to go from that to this i don't know i just feel like it was just like random items that they had in the warehouse and they just threw it in here to be honest anywho um i'm gonna use this stuff nothing's gonna go to waste i just can, I feel like I'm being very picky in this video and I apologize for that but I don't know I got used to of them doing themes so for them just to throw like random things in the box I'm just like 
a tad bit confused you know just just a, just a little bit but overall i really do like this palette and i'm super excited to give these brushes a go and even this little peanut lip collection kit thing <laughs> and i like this this is like really cute oh and by the way i've tried their mask i've tried this i feel like they sent me three of them so far and i do i do really like this mask i know i like face masks so this is not going to go to waste i just feel like mango and what was the other one that i, I keep getting lemon I think those are like the only two theme ones. So if they're gonna send a face mask, I would rather them send like different kind, maybe a green tea, a strawberry. Like there's different fruits and veggie and ingredients that can make up for a mask. So if they're gonna send this, I would like for them to send something different instead of a mango mask every single month. Cause it's third one since I've been subscribed to y'all this year alone. So just saying. But anywho, that was pretty much it. Let me know how you guys feel about this subscription for this month. Let me know how you guys feel about this box for this month. Is it my favorite? No, definitely not my favorite. Like I said, I think my neutral palette, which was back in March, absolutely loved that, that whole palette, everything. But overall, the box theme, I want to say it's a tie between June and May box. Like... I don't know that that whole pink theme I was in my pink girly era totally here for it yeah cuz like look, I'm still using my little lash curlers like I, I use my random pink stuff that they send over my pencil sharpener like I like my cute little random pink things like this making my room very pinky very girly and stuff like that so anywho enough of the rambling let me know how you guys feel about this box for this month so everything that i got i'm gonna throw everything especially if makeup related i'm gonna throw it in my box right here on the side y'all know i've been picking random new things out of this box to use every other day to kind of make sure that i'm utilizing my new things that i'm getting and that i'm putting in my collection as well so be on the lookout it's going to be mixed with my other videos but on that note thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and i'll be back tomorrow with another video have a beautiful day stay blessed stay amazing and i'll see y'all when i see y'all bye